Hey everyone, welcome back to Devirai Technologies. This is a bot series on Microsoft Copilot Studio. In our last video, we have created a copilot agent that will answer questions from a public website. And today, in this video, we are going to connect our SharePoint library so that the documents we have inside our SharePoint library will be used to answer users' question. This is really helpful if you have a huge number of documents that are there in your SharePoint library. Then you just need to connect to Copilot Studio and yeah, that's all you have to do. Okay, so let's get started. I'll go ahead and create a new Copilot agent new agent and here I'm going to tell copilot that help new joinees I'm not sure what's the spelling joinees uh, to answer any questions they might have about the policies um hr queries etc let's try this only i'm not getting any words okay there it is Assist new employees by answering their questions about company policy, HR quiz, and related topics. And be clear and concise. Up to date with latest company guidelines. I think it has given best instructions to the model. And let's, that's a good name, HR helper. Yes. And in the real time, it has updated the name of my copilot agent. Uh, that is all. Okay, so that is done. Let's go ahead and create our agent. I need some documents. So let's chat.com. By the way, um, chat GPT or OpenAI has bought the domain name chat.com it will redirect to chatgpt.com okay um create a document for my company policy for leaves company name they write technologies Okay, um, yearly leave 20, monthly increment, um, calculate accordingly, okay, uh, carry forward allowed so i'm just giving some uh, small small informal points it will create a nice document okay that's all okay perfect this is my first policy all right so let's copy this Ah, I would have uh, used uh, my copilot inside Microsoft Word to create this document. I forgot that. Anyway, I'll use uh, now after this one. Okay. All right. So that's one document done. Leave policy. Uh, what other policies 
आर देर इन ऑर्क फॉर न्यू एम्प्लॉयज ओके लेट्स गो एड कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट एंड बिहेवियरल पॉलिसी let's create a new document create i'll just copy this dialog from here create create content for my company policy for for code of conduct behavioral policy company name okay that's all let's generate perfect okay that sounds good let's save this let's create new one equal opportunity that's fine health and safety confidentiality ah yeah this is important policy for my company the vidai technologies okay let's try this perfect let's save this as well what else next which is good um performance grievance remote work telecommunication employee development training policy social media internet usage let's try this this is also an important one for my company i'm showing you uh, uh, on this video itself how you can generate content directly from your copilot inside microsoft applications so that's all so it's quick easy way to generate content so i just uh, took just 5 minutes to create this policies well you can review it i haven't reviewed it but yeah you can modify this accordingly uh you can give core core points so that uh, your copilot will be able to understand and make it bigger one like detailed policy so i think these seems to be fine and i'm just going to upload them social media confidentiality and which is this one code of conduct okay perfect now let's connect this to our agent add a knowledge base sharepoint browse files and where's our new site Okay, seems to be not coming over here. Mm, still, my SharePoint site is not visible. I believe it takes time for uh, this SharePoint site to get reflected over here. So uh, I'm just assuming that it takes time for my SharePoint site to get reflected over there. Uh, that's the reason it's not getting here. 
if at all my SharePoint site comes over here, then it will be easier for me to get all those documents there. Okay, I think what I can do, let's upload these documents directly into these sites. And let's come back. Oh, really? From here also I can upload. That's good. I did not know that. Perfect. Now let's select my documents. Confirm selection. I have four documents now. Add them. Okay, this is how you need to do. Perfect. Well, my new SharePoint site is not visible, so I just uploaded into my existing site. Okay, that's fine. Let's say hi. So I used the wrong spelling. Let's see if it is able to understand that. Perfect, perfect. Now it is coming. The leave policy is that Davidite outlines the leave entitlements. Each full-time employee is entitled to 20 days, 1.67 days per month. Okay, uh, let me restart this conversation and ask a specific question from the document. How much? leave increment in one month so these type of questions are very frequent by the employees they want to get information exactly that they need so here it is employees will occur 1.67 days of leave per month so that's the specific answer that it is giving me one more question i'll ask is carry forward allowed that's a specific question i am asking yes employees are allowed to carry forward and 10 days i haven't reviewed the documents but i guess it's 10 days inside the document and it is giving me the link as well direct link to the document so yeah that's a direct download link that's good and let me ask code of conduct that's a different document that i have perfect confidentiality policy So that was the correct uh, document referenced that is code of conduct and behavioral policy so now i am asking generic policy details okay perfect objective scope everything it has given me from my document that is confidentiality and data protection policy perfect so this is how you can easily connect your sharepoint documents to your copilot agent and yeah start asking the questions perfect right so let's go ahead and enable the microsoft teams channel this time because uh, organizational users who mostly work on teams they don't want to go to any other platform to ask some hr related queries they can directly go to teams and that's all perfect right so you need to publish your agent before you can make uh, it available to others. Okay, let's do that. Publish the agent. Perfect. Go to channels again. Go to Microsoft Teams. And open agent. Let's use the web app instead. And also uh, here you can see oh, availability options. So currently I think it is only available for me. You just need to go ahead and show to everyone in my organization. If you are an admin, you can approve it yourself. If somebody else is an admin, then they need to approve 
the app so that it is visible to your whole organization. So let's add this HR helper. You can also modify this icon and also description by downloading this zip over here. This is a Teams manifest. We have worked a lot of times with Teams manifest. You can just watch our previous videos uh, building Teams bot. Not necessarily using Copilot Studio, but we have used Microsoft bot framework. But this manifest, it's common across Microsoft Teams. Uh, they have the you uh, the icon names, icons also there. You just point those names inside your manifest and rezip it and upload it. Okay, so there it is. Let's ask about how many leaves can be carry forwarded so i'm just expecting 10 as the answer okay employees are allowed to carry forward maximum of 10 days of unused leaves to the next year okay perfect so this seems to be working but this doesn't have the streaming capability enabled I guess that's quite a disadvantage as of now with Copilot Studio. The agents build using Copilot Studio. Let me ask something long question this time. Complete leave policy. Let's see how much time it takes. Okay, it took approximately 15 to 20 seconds to respond back this answer. But if at all we have the streaming capability, then it will be much better. The response time will be much better because it keeps on writing as soon as the first chunk is available. Okay, so we have implemented this streaming policies in our previous videos so you can just go through we did it using bot framework sdk so that is all here in this video we successfully created a copilot agent hr helper we added knowledge base that is our policy documents so that our agent can answer questions from those documents we also tested it by asking specific questions as well as asking the complete policy then we enabled microsoft teams channel added that to teams and yeah started asking the questions right from teams so that is all here in this video thanks everyone see you in the next one